the mistletoe. What's up, mother? I was gonna say, but that's not cool or something. People told me I don't know. Ah, oh, missing all my little pots. Little pot. Holly jolly Christmas. Today we're doing a thing. Today we're gonna be making the little fame. The little famous on Instagram, on TikTok, little, uh, I'm gonna give it a name. Salmon rice. Salmon rice. Salmon. <laughs> I'm gonna be making my own twist of it. So if you guys have seen, you take a salmon, you cook the salmon. We've got a little bit of sesame oil, a little bit of chili oil, and some olive oil, which I probably should have done avocado, because I think the olive is gonna be a weird mix. You won't even taste that. Kind of a miso-vibed salmon. If he gets kind of loud, let me know, because it's kind of overpowering my voice, but I'm really fucking loud, so it doesn't matter. Two cups water, one cup rice. You make rice on the side, whatever. I'm using basmati, you should probably use like a jasmine is my guess, like an Asian sticky rice of some sort. <laughs> Listen, I got copyright music because we ain't even monetized, I don't give up. So I have a potty mouth today. Santa baby! I'm using sink water because I want to. All right, you go there and you heat up a lot. That's a stupid stove. We're gonna put you here. Do you cover rice? I always cover rice. You should definitely cover rice. You have to cover rice. Every time I cover rice, it Overflows. We're gonna break the salmon down into like this little paste thing. That's not that it's not a paste. If it's anything, it's not a paste. We're gonna break the salmon down and then we're kind of combine it with the rice into this like <laughs> salmon rice. And then you add some soy sauce, and then you add some mayo, and then some sriracha. So like a spicy mayo, soy sauce. Now I like to add egg and make kind of a fried rice thing because I'm a visionary. Now welcome back to cooking with <laughs> Welcome back to Heaven's Kitchen with Jordan Ramsey. I'm gonna be your host. Jordan Ramsey. Today's a Christmas special, even though we ain't making any type of Christmas food ever. This is probably really hot. Whatever, it's gonna splash oil all over the place, which is always fun. I love to clean that up. Honestly, I do it on purpose now because cleaning up splashing oil is so fun. <laughs> I have a lot to say today. The good thing about today's episode is I'm not cutting anything, and cutting sh is so frustrating. So we're gonna cook the skin down first and then remove it. It's so much easier to remove skin on salmon if you cook it for a little bit. BRB, I'm gonna wash. Guys, I got a new cooking toy today. <laughs> oh, I cooked too much. Finally, I got a garlic press. Now, I wanted the bougie all metal one. There's like this one type of it. Looks straight out of a construction zone. And I couldn't find it. And I was in the store, like I was looking for online, and I couldn't find it online, so I just bought the one in the store, because I don't care. Now, I can season the top of this salmon. <laughs> Salmon. Honestly, the season doesn't really need to be Asian. I'll use like a Creole, just because Creole's got like all the spices you ever need. But you want to give it a nice crisp. Maybe some paprika. I don't think they use that in Japan, but I don't care. Again, the big thing to make salmon a little like... There's a word, I'm just, I'm, I'm waiting for it. Umami is just soy sauce. Honestly, I just had some soy sauce, so I don't need to over-season it. You can use pepper, like, later. I don't know, I just need soy sauce. Oh, wow, I'm really running out. I don't want to waste too much time. Hey, you're open. We don't want to break said salmon. Breaking salmon's easy. I do it often. Can I just rip this off with this thing? Oh, yeah, I'm so, literally hire me. Jordan Ramsey is the best of the best, and you guys know that. Oh, look at that. Are we going to get it there without spilling? Probably not. Fixed. We want to make sure we get a little oil under the salmon. I don't know why, just in my head that's what sounds, you know what I mean? I always, um, the rice is, I mean now I got nothing to fucking do. This is the easiest to make. On TikTok and on Instagram, they buy these little seaweed paper shit. What's it called? Seaweed? Crisp seaweed? It's gross. And I don't like it, and if you ever smelt it, it smells like a dog's butthole. <laughs> that was a bad example, because I've never smelt a, do a dog's rear end. It smells like a ball. And then they take it and they put it in it and they like wrap it up and then they like, what else do they do? Avocado. I don't hate avocado, but I don't need avocado, right? Like when do you put avocado on your fried rice? You don't. Maybe they're going for like the, the sushi vibe, I guess, yeah. Crispy rice, spicy salmon vibe, but I don't need that. We're gonna cook some eggs. We're gonna then throw everything back in the pan and like crisp it up. I've made it before, it's phenomenal. I'm gonna make it again, it's semi-healthy. We don't wanna use a lot of rice. I made way too much rice and I don't know why I did that. I always have leftovers. Quick uh, Gordon Ramsay update since this is you guys on Jobo. My main channel is no longer just comedy bullshit. It's like everything in my life because it's my channel. So Jordan Bo likes travel. He likes cars. He likes coffee. He likes food. He likes being funny. So that's all going to be on my main channel. My main channel is me. I'm going to do whatever I want. So this is going to be the only channel left where you're getting this just absolute smoke show. <laughs> Comedic smoke show of a man. All right. So subscribe. Alright, you all beautiful soul. Salmon's coming to an end. I kind of undercooked the salmon a little. Did a nice medium on a salmon, which theoretically you could eat. Restaurants been serving salmon at a really odd temperature lately. Like, I never used to see this, but I ordered a salmon three nights ago. She said, how would you like your salmon cooked? I swear to God, I can't make this up. She said, typically we do medium rare. Medium rare on a fish? 
I mean, maybe they got that sushi grade salmon they're grilling up. I don't know, I just thought that was interesting. Maybe it's just me. I've never had people cook my salmon rare. Now, I enjoy when my salmon's like a nice medium, medium well, because it's fish, keep in mind, not steak. Like it's a little bit of the, you know what I mean, on the inside, what's this from? I cook this to like a medium rare. I would eat salmon if it's medium rare, I'd just rather not. Like I'd rather eat it raw than medium rare, that just sounds odd. If you're gonna grill it, grill it, you know what I mean? But what I'm gonna break this down, which I could theoretically do in here. Damn, that's a lot of oil. I gotta get rid of all that oil before I cook it. It's gonna cook a little more, and I don't want it to overcook because this stuff can get dry. Dry rhymes with bad in Spanish. You know what I mean? I don't want that to happen. I'm a big chef. You know what I mean? I gotta make sure my calculations are correct. My rice, though, is taking forever. Gotta hit how long rice takes. Now we need to get out our condiments. I need condiments. Condiments. Condom mints. Now, I'd like to say, oh, which is awesome because this thing has a hole in the cap. I'm not a big mayo fan. I'm actually quite scared of mayo. I'm becoming less scared of it because I now know what it is, but that doesn't mean I'm not still scared of it. So I typically go light on the mayo. Also, it's not good for me. So that's, you know, and I'm eating healthy. This is all I've eaten today. You guys want to know what I've eaten today? I'll tell you what I've eaten today. I had a banana, two lattes. <laughs> that's my cheat. A couple of cinnamon almonds, a couple, couple. This is what I had for lunch. I'm so fucking health. Hear me out. But I'm a chef. A big time chef. I'm actually gonna make this sound way better than it was. Like bougie, I mean. I had a barbecue. No, we're gonna call something way more fancy. A Southwest bar- Southwest. You know what I mean? Like a Southwestern barbecue tri-tip with a light marbling. A very, very beautiful tri-tip. Laid over a bed of baby spinach in a well, it was a dressing. I don't know how to make a dressing sound fancy. I made the dressing myself, okay? It was really nice with little grape tomatoes on it. It was so health, I can literally eat whatever the hell I want at this point. Rice, how are you? Talk to me, baby. I spilled some rice, that sounds like me. Now the rice is cooking on the thing. I don't care. I don't care, actually. I just thought about it. I don't care. The rice is almost done. We just want the rice to be a little dry. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna convert this. <laughs> we're not converting anything. Oh, these were for my salmon. Right. Doesn't matter, it's literally just pepper and red pepper flakes or waste, but we're literally putting sriracha. What am I, stupid? What am I, stupid? Okay, I'm probably stupid. Oh, shit, I ran out of paper plates. Can't forget about eggs, very important feat. We're gonna cook the eggs in with the rice because fucking chef. We're gonna cook the eggs in this oil, that's what we're gonna do. Cooking the eggs in this little fucking pan of sex, sex pan, that's, I didn't really mean it in that provocative. I mean, I said the word sex, so I definitely did. Oh, full batch of eggs? Cause I'd be pounding through eggs. We're just gonna do two eggs because, I don't know, the hibachi restaurants do like three and I'm hibachi, so I'm gonna do two. The hibachi restaurants cook for like an entire family. <laughs> I cook for. And no, I don't crack eggs like a little one hand like a chef. I can, but I don't need to prove my worth, you know what I mean? Could I do coffee videos on this channel? I feel like I could. Because this is like a cook with me, you know what I mean? Spatula, I got it. Crack the yolk, crack the yolk. How's my rice? Oh, it's good, I can feel the bottom starting to crisp a little, that's not good. These are going good. I'll be back. Always clean up your mess, you know that. Now what we can do is abuse the salmon. And what we're gonna abuse it with is the fork I use for the rice. Because recycling, baby. If you've never abused a salmon before, I recommend doing it when they're no longer alive or else PETA might get called. You just kind of, well, you just abuse it like so. Just smack it down. This is over three quarter pound of salmon, so <laughs> gains, you know what I mean? <laughs> Some of the salmon, the crisp part, it's hard to break the crisp down because, well, it's crispy. Those eggs are really doing the most, as some would say. Egg we're just gonna start beating these things up. While the eggs are doing that, we're gonna add in the rice. I need a spoon for that. How much rice do we want? I don't want a ton of rice because that's so much rice already. Oh yeah. Chop, 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 chop. I'm just gonna pour all the salmon in now. Just get in there, go live your life. Can't cook this for too long or else it's gonna get dry. This is what life's all about right here, baby. I mean, I don't know if life's all about rice and salmon, but you get what I mean. A little soy sauce, whatever we got left in this bad girl. That's not a lot. We've already used soy on the salmon, so that should suffice. We're just gonna spoon in some mayo. <laughs> One tablespoon, that's like enough mayo to like kill someone, I think. Sorry to be dark, but. Sriracha, very importante. You don't need to go light with the sriracha. You know what I mean? We, we ain't no out here in Heaven's Kitchen. Start combining. We're almost done here. You gotta go quick. You cannot procrastinate. That's probably not like the word I meant to use, but it, it works, theoretically. I'm just using all these big fake words that I don't know. Because I'm a cook, you know what I mean? Chefs have good grammar, everyone knows that. Great diction. There's not a lot of rice, which is good because I'm not eating a lot of carbs. I just want to make sure the mayo got everywhere. Because I don't want to bite into a chunk of mayo-y shit. 
You know what I mean? That is salmon rice of some, I don't know, do you see it? It's like almost salmon fried rice, but heavy on the salmon. The most exciting part of Heaven's Kitchen is that you guys are nine hours away. Is that we eat the meal at the end. See that? Not bad, you know what I mean? It's got like a nice little, it's beautiful, right? I'm really bright here. Oh, usually you eat stuff with forks. That's a good point. Jingle bell cock rock. People probably think off camera I'm like so provocative. I swear to God, I'm like not at all. I've had this a couple times, but this was the one I'm the most, wow, this is really hot. Do you see this? It looks like I'm smoking my salmon. Ha, <laughs> smoked salmon, you get it? This was where I'm the most knowledgeable. So this one should be phenomenal. Now I know it's not pretty. I could have topped it with a nice sliced salmon, but we're not that kind of cooking show. You know what I mean? With some chives. I don't know if chives would really go well with this. Some, no, parsley? No. Cilantro? No. What's an Asian green? Cucumber? This could be Asian, kind of. They have cucumbers in Asia, so. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm Let me think about it. Yeah. Oh my god. I need to document this because I'm an influencer. I'm an influencer. Oh, oh sh that was so that was awkward. That's what happens behind the scenes. You see that? For another episode of Heaven's Kitchen. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Hell's Ram. <laughs> That's what I have in. Of Heaven's Kitchen with Jordan Ramsey. I'm your host, Jordan Ramsey. And I hope to see you guys again. If you guys like me, subscribe to my main channel. You like cars? Subscribe to my main channel. <laughs> subscribe to my car channel. And then, like, have a blessed day. And I hope you guys make this. I'm sorry I didn't really give you a recipe. But honestly, I've never looked at a recipe. I just made it. And it's so good. It's so good. Just make it with Asian ingredients and it should turn out tasting kind of like a hibachi salmon fried rice. Okay? And many blessings. Happy Halloween.